Oh my, 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 this is bad. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's even going on? Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to East Haven County here on the southeastern shores of Massachusetts. Now in the most recent episode we built this massive rail yard up here so that we could actually spawn some trains in the region. And as a result, we've got a single train line currently active here from the Chowder Bay train station. This is where it terminates at least. And it's the MBTA East Haven line, which goes all the way up to Boston, if you stick around for long enough at least. Someone suggested uh, that I color this uh, line purple instead, uh, because that's gonna fit with the MBTA, the, the, the real life color theme. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Anyways, the... Implementation of the rail yard didn't really require all that much complex infrastructure changes. Of course, getting space for it and getting it all connected up was a bit of a challenge. Uh, but the real challenge is going to be in this episode because uh, I'm planning on building a fully custom passenger train station here in downtown West Point, And then I'm going to connect it up to Chowder Bay. But instead of just using the already existing connection where the train is going to cross the Cape Autumn Peninsula here, I intend to actually connect the train from downtown West Point directly to downtown Charter Bay uh, through this bridge here. And this is going to pose quite a few challenges because, of course, we'll need to build a railway bridge that crosses here. Uh, and immediately as we enter the main island here, we've got some pretty complex um, nature here. We've got some steep cliffs. Of course, we can do some terraforming, but I don't want to do too much. We've also got some complex um, infrastructure already in place. And I want to do as few alterations to this infrastructure as possible. And then I'll connect it up to the train line here. So yeah, this is gonna be quite challenging. I'm gonna try and do it as realistic as possible, but we do of course take a few liberties if it just gets uh, if it gets too tough for me. Um, but it's gonna be really interesting. So I hope you guys are hyped for some really complex infrastructure in this one. Oh, and of course, before we begin, if you enjoy my content, I would really appreciate a like as that helps out a ton. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you. Okay, so where do we actually begin with this big project? I'm thinking trying to get the bridge in place would be a pretty cool, uh, be a pretty cool first project here because that's gonna be a bit tricky because I've got a I've got a bit of an idea of for a custom bridge uh, because unfortunately there aren't really all that many bridges in the game currently and there are no train specific bridges uh, to my uh, massive disappointment. So we'll try and create a cool bridge on our own that looks like it's a single bridge. So a bridge that both has, you know, highway, uh, highway elements as well as the train elements. So yeah, bit of a tricky one, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's just make a bit of a ramp here for our bridge. My idea is that I'll be using uh, two one lane one way highways and then we're gonna try and squeeze the dual lane uh, uh, railway bridge in between the two for no other reason that than it being very cool i mean i assume it's gonna be very cool at least so the first thing i'm just i need to get some contour lines i need to get some not contour lines i need to get some networks that i can actually work with here so if I just create like a bridge like this, just as an example, so that I have an idea of what I'm dealing with, I think that's going to be a pretty good start. Now, I know that to actually avoid having the top of the uh, container ships clip into the bridge, we need the bridge to be at least, uh, I think it's 40, 46 or 47 and a half is probably our safest best uh, bet sorry we, we need the bridge to be this tall uh, so this right here is not really gonna cut it but now that we've got the segments out here at least we can delete the ones i just placed and then we can rebuild these with the appropriate height uh, so let's see we'll uh, go ahead and because we've got the snapping features of course we can 
create a long segment here which is at our desired height there you go and then we should be able to connect that up to the end pieces here and then hopefully hopefully that's gonna look all right let's see we probably have to yeah i have to move all the way down here starting from scratch and then connecting up that's a free 3.9 percent i think that's fine but ideally i would actually like to just get this node fixed so oh come on come on you know what we'll just we're just gonna do it backwards and I just want the least slope I can get. This is about 3%, which I think is fine. And we can, of course, do changes. But it actually looks just as I want it. So that's, that's fortunate. And we can delete this segment as well. And we'll go way down from out here. And we can get the exact same... Uh, percentage drop wise so that should also be perfect and as we zoom out that's pretty much as good as it's gonna get for a start at least now the next part is going to be the double train tracks and hopefully we are able to use uh, sort of the same snapping as we have done with our roads here although it actually does look like yeah that's probably gonna be fine so we're gonna start with this and then we've got some weird weird stuff going on here and i think i just needed a little more clearance on either sides of the highways here that was uh, the the main thing causing me trouble and uh, we don't have to align these close to each other at all here in the very beginning because we can just use the uh, upgrade tooling with snapping disabled to get the exact fit that we want 3.1 that's perfect okay so we've got that sorted out i'm just gonna do a little change here and then get back to you. and i did a bit of manual adjustment and it seems to be working now so i've got it connected up to the existing train infrastructure here on west point and i'm thinking that it's still going to cross on this side of this uh, main road here so i'll probably need to do a, a bit of i'm gonna have to carve up a bit of the industrial areas here but i think for starters i'm just going to try and drag it out and just see how that looks and how that works that's gonna give me like a general idea for what I want. So let's see. And of course, I don't want too crazy uh, a decrease in elevation. Something like this is fine. And then let's just do a rough test connection here. 180. And get that down here. And what is that? That's going to be... 3.4%, 3.3%, I can live with that. Then we'll just get all of this deleted for now. And we can definitely make that connection uh, a little nicer. Nice. Now let's see, we've got a bit of weird clipping here. I'm just going to remove parts of this industrial area here and let's get this surface away as well uh it's still got a connection over here so that's just fine that's not too bad actually it's not too bad at all and now the real complex fun begins because i'll of course need to connect up the highway here to madison highway uh in some way i don't want to connect it up to concord highway i want to let that stay uh, so this is definitely gonna be a lot of fun so we're gonna we're just gonna give it a go really and see what we can figure out here so i want to cross and at the same time i need to start lowering 
actually I'm gonna disable snapping here and then we're gonna cross and I'm gonna lower by about 5.4% 5.1 I think that's fine and then I'd like this to go underneath which means that I'd actually need to remove a few segments here and uh, terraform the landscape here so that we can actually go underneath the train tracks. Now the cool thing with Anarchy of course is that we don't need as much clearance as the game would otherwise require of us. Uh, this is probably uh, a little too little but so we're just gonna go down a bit but this is probably just fine actually gonna remove this building here and just clear this out remove this one as well and then we're gonna use the slope terrain tool to prepare ourselves for this connection here so we're gonna right click and then we're just gonna drag so we've got a smooth transition and we can right click up here as well to get a smooth transition although i would probably like um an easier node to work with so we'll just remove this because then we can right click all the way over here and start our transition a little earlier okay it's a lot of talk of smooth transitions let's see how smooth it's actually going to be so we'll grab our highway enable some snapping uh what am i doing this is the wrong one we'll grab this one of course and try and actually connect to the right one. I'm just doing a rough uh, connection now just to get an idea of what I actually want. So we're upgrading these segments and then the tricky part starts as I'll be attempting to connect something like this. Hmm, I'm gonna need another node. Downgrade this segment so that we've got a bit more space to work with. And let's see. Start from way back here and we branch out a little sooner. Let's see how that looks. Well, this looks terrible. That's gonna need some fixing, but otherwise, not too shabby not too shabby at all although it is going to require a little more precision to actually get this connected up properly and there we go that's pretty good that's uh, good enough for me at least now of course it's a bit dangerous that i'm actually connecting this up before i have aligned my bridge perfectly so i am actually just gonna go ahead and do that and as I said, it's all a matter of grabbing the replace and disabling snapping. And then I can move all these segments really close to the train bridge. Uh, and since the train tracks are the most finicky, in my opinion, at least to work with, I am going to be moving the highway segments instead. Ooh. Well, that certainly took a minute or two, but I think the alignment is as good as it's gonna get now. And overall, I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks. There's ample clearance for the. Uh, let's see, we've got yeah, we've got our tracks here for the for the ships, so that's perfect. Now we're of course gonna have to redo this connection here. And I'm hopeful that we can do that without having too much trouble with the snapping. It's not gonna be that easy, is it? Hallelujah. It was okay. I didn't expect that for whatever reason. Guess I didn't I don't trust myself, maybe. <laughs> but uh, anyways, it worked. So, what I would like to do here is create a bit of a weird connection here. So, let's just 
try this out. We're going to right click here and then I'm going to slope uh, up here. Then we'll need to create our row from all the way out here, of course. We'll do 180 and then we'll go, we'll move across here. 3.5, that's perfect. And then we're going to connect straight down here. We want to be able to turn right as well, so it can't be too tight. And then from here, I need to enable to also get onto the on-ramp. And I'm wondering if we can actually fit the segment in here. We can barely and we've got the okay 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 never mind that didn't work but i guess this is better than nothing right you've got a little two two lane piece there <laughs> not a lot but i guess it kind of kind of works and let's see if we can just create a little node here and get an additional segment in here and I think that looks pretty good, although I don't want... Do I want people to be able to actually make a U-turn here? To go back? Nah, I don't think so. So we're doing something like this. And yeah, I promised you guys some complex infrastructure. And I think so far we are delivering on that promise at least. So I think we're just going to move in here and turn uh, a few of these segments into keys and do a bit of terraforming just to make it all look uh, a little more smooth because it's pretty uh, some pretty crazy landscaping we've got going on right now so if i just do a bit of terraforming then it's hopefully gonna look just a bit better something like this and i am happy with this start i gotta say uh, but yeah we've got more complexity to handle out here now so uh, the train track once again has the priority as far as uh, being less tolerant for slopes. So I think I'm going to need one of these highways to go underneath the train track to connect to this segment here. And I probably need the train tracks to go uh, underneath the interchange somewhere in this vicinity. I'm gonna have to do a little demolishing again because I think I want to get this connection here in place uh, because then that's, I'm just gonna have a better idea I think of uh, where I can actually go with this. So we've got these segments here which are already bridge segments that makes it a little easier for me. Although I am just gonna check if I can turn... Can I turn? No, I can't really turn any more segments into bridges. But I guess that's fine. I guess that's actually fine. So we're just gonna. I'm gonna assume that there's ample uh, elevation here or room rather for the train tracks to go underneath. So I'm just gonna. I am gonna do a little terraforming. And then we're gonna do a check in. Can I drag these underneath? I can. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I want for starters, at least. So let's just, I used the wrong terraforming tool before, so I'm an idiot. But I'm smoothing out now, and then we're gonna remove the trees that are getting in the way when we've got all these contour lines at play, at least. There you go. So let's see, we'll need to, oh, the train is actually lower down here, so we'll grab that just to make sure that we can safely cross underneath. And then we'll just get an alignment in place over here and we'll fix this up in just a second. So first thing I'm just going to do is to get this train track all the way over here because we're going to create another bridge at some point in the future as we cross to some of the other islands here. And then I need to go underneath something like this and then really cross my fingers that uh, nothing is poking through like the catenaries or something like that uh, hopefully it's not gonna be the case i probably need to go decently wide 
because I am going to need to consider that this is trains and they might not be able to take as sharp turns as vehicles are. So this is a good start and I'll get this connection in place as well. And we'll see if that works with the pillars and everything. And it does. It's a little sharp, but I think I think it's okay. And now we've got a terraforming job cut out for us, unfortunately. <laughs> mm, I want the I wonder if we should make like a really cool train track segment that kind of crosses the this wall here. We probably have to actually. So I'm gonna do. I'm going to do even more terraforming, but I'm going to get rid of all these trees so that we can actually see what we're doing here. So I know I said I wouldn't terraform too much, but yeah, I'm having a hard time seeing how that's going to be possible. So with the slope terrain tool, I'm going to right click up here and then I'm going to start dragging where I imagine the train tracks could actually run. And just gonna be pretty liberal with the terraforming here because as soon as we get the train tracks in place, we can uh, make the, uh, the scenery a little cool again. For now, though, we're just gonna get this connection up, up and running. And that's not gonna work at all. So we're gonna do this a little differently. We're gonna branch from here as was the plan. Let's have a look at this. This looks pretty good. Although we've got more space here, so we could make this curve bigger. But I think I think for now, uh, we're just going to stick with this because this looks pretty nice. And then we can right click here and then slope the terrain down here. Actually, I should probably have like a proper slope here. I know that this area of Massachusetts ain't exactly mountainous, but I like that we've got at least some cliffs and stuff going on here. So next challenge. Well, I guess the good thing is that since we know that we are prioritizing the train tracks, we can pretty much just connect up these train tracks. That's that's a pretty good start. So just gonna come through here and make sure that the terrain works in our favor. Get some of these trees out of the way. Actually, let's let's get all of it out of the way. Something like this. And then we should be able to connect our tracks here. It's a pretty scenic train route you're in for if you take this one. But I mean, that's not that's not bad. That's perfect. Let's see. Uh, that's pretty nice. It's a little sharp here, but I mean, they don't have to go full speed. So I think it's fine. Now the big challenge, of course, is going to be getting our highway segments here to do what we want. Ah, oh, there you go. That finally worked. Things were getting a bit hairy there. And then I need this one. Actually, you should probably go above then because it's going to be pretty crazy to have a, a tunnel into the mountainside here, especially because the highway here is actually uh, it's elevated. So, yeah, that's not going to work. So I think we're going to we're going to go for something like this and then we're going to branch across the uh, train tracks instead. Uh, now this doesn't mean that we don't need a small ramp because that's cool and it's pretty easy for us to actually see what control line we'll need to follow here and grab i think this should be perfect so we're just gonna create our little plateau here that we can cross with we're gonna actually do the same over here although that's <laughs> that, okay that's not gonna work but we're gonna start here and then we'll see how things pan out just creating my little ramp here and then i am ready to move across fingers crossed now and let's see do we need can we 
Let's see if we could do this without anarchy. So without anarchy, it's saying barely, but not out here. But with anarchy, I can. So I think I'm going to try and then uh, what is this pillar? This uh, it's a terrible pillar. That may be hard to avoid just given. Can I get a pillar here instead? Maybe even move back here. Oh, yes. That actually worked. We'll get a pillar here instead as well. Nice. Then we can even remove this segment. I'll get rid of this. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. And then we'll see if we can actually connect this up. In one smooth go. 10.5%. That's pretty steep. But not unreasonable. I would say I'm wondering if I can fix this glitching by adding key walls. I can just about at least there's a bit of glitching, but I think we can fix that by just having a bit of a sharper turn for this road here. Yes. Okay. We're getting there. We are certainly getting there. The final connection needs to take place now. Is this gonna work? It's going to work. Oh my! <laughs> and we've got our first man on the moon. A semi-truck. Transporting some beverages to Limsa Bar on Concord Lane, Concord Lane which is uh, oh okay, it's an industrial facility out here in Northport, and and we've even got a train passing on the MBTA East Haven line. Why? Why is that? That's interesting. Did it, I, I'm assuming that maintenance has been done to it and it spawned from the rail yard because then I see that it's it's a faster route to go through downtown West Point, make the crossing here and then uh, come into Chowder Bay train station here in downtown. Uh, but that's the only scenario I can think of because the actual line doesn't go through this area at all. It just goes straight north uh, and as we talked about it reaches Boston at some point in time. Uh, but it's good to see that uh, the game is quick to actually register this infrastructure and that it works now. So, very nice. Gonna do a bit of fine tuning here. Maybe turn this side into a key wall. Probably this side as well. And the whole thing basically. If anything, to ensure we've got some guardrails for potential crashes. This is not a place you wanna crash your car. But uh, with that said, we know how drivers are. And this is a US city, so it's probably worse than I know from European cities. And I am being cheeky and testing to see if I can make the curve over here just a bit smoother. I think it was just uh, a tad too rough, really. So we're gonna try and make it a little better and hopefully we don't clip into any we didn't. So that's perfect. Things are working out uh, wonderfully so far in this episode. Let's see if we can get a connection. I'm probably... Am I? I'm still avoiding all of the pillars. So, yay. Can we make this one without any issues? We can. And things are even smoother now. Perfect. Oh my, 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 my. This is bad. <laughs> Anyways, back to the trains. So the next thing, well, the next thing has to be the custom station over here in West Point. This is going to be interesting. I haven't actually built one of these before, but I'm assuming that I'm going to need a lot of space. So... Adieu with all these commercial assets. Just gonna remove a bunch. We can always grow them back. We've got 
infinite commercial demand for whatever reason. And let's just clear out uh, a few of the trees here. Hopefully I don't mess up the park too much. Do, 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 do. We may need even more room than this, but for now I think that's fine. How are we looking? Uh, okay, so this is completely flat. Uh, the train tracks are actually pretty much level with uh, Anchor Street here. So that's pretty much perfect for what our needs are. Although I'm probably going to dezone this segment as well. Because we'll have the station in this area to not create like an additional um, at grade crossing. And we've even got two. We've got this one on Barlow Street as well, which is pretty bad. So I'm thinking... I am thinking we'll do something else. We'll create a node here. We'll create a node here. Delete these two small segments as well as the small lanes. And then hopefully I can squeeze in a roundabout on either end. And I can, although this one is uh, probably a little too close. So just... Get us a little more space. And there you go. Cool. So we've only got one at Great Crossing, at least in downtown West Point. And we've got one over here as well. Uh, but that's for some freight traffic I haven't play planned yet. So I think, I think that's fine. Okay, so I would like a dedicated train track for the station here. Because it looks cool and they're fun to create. So we'll grab our two-way train track. And then I'll need to do some alignment. And I want it to be relatively close to the uh, two-way track here, of course, because we'll be connecting to it. And let's see how far we can stretch this and get a decent looking connection. Hopefully that works. And in this case, we... We'll need to do a bit of adjustment here, but I think that's fine. Creates a bit of an interesting crossing, but that's not a problem. And let's see. We'll get our trees out of the way, please. And we'll probably dezone this as well. I'm sorry, guys, but gotta fix this station first, and then we can we can look into fixing you up afterwards. So I think this is pretty cool. For a start at least, let's just check if we can get it working. So I am going to open the object menu with developer mode. Then I'm going to search for integrated because we've got the integrated passenger train stop here. And when we place this, uh, this is effectively uh, a train stop that we can create a route for. So I'm just going to create one on either side. We might not use both just yet. But then I am going to try and create a... I'm going to try and create a route that just goes straight from downtown West Point all the way over to uh, downtown Chowder Bay. We might stop in here and then we'll move back and say complete. And that should spawn a new train over here in our rail yard. It does. We're just going to follow this bad boy and see if it actually works and it is stopping and then it continues onwards to Chowder Bay. Pretty cool. Now I need to get people uh, onto the tracks here so that they uh, will actually will actually board it. But uh, with some more uh, developer mode magic, we can fix that easily. We could actually also just use the payment paths in game. Uh, like this that's also gonna create the connection but i would rather use some invisible paths and then create a bit of a custom station instead so let's start by adding some nice surfaces so i'm gonna go into tiles and find a tile set that i like and i think we might be going for these these herringbone gray pavement stone let's just have a look how this looks it looks pretty nice without being too flashy and then i'm just gonna go for can i actually no it's not gonna work okay i'm gonna start at this catenary here 
don't know if I pronounced that correct, I'm sorry. And then we're going to move all the way over to this one. And the cool thing is we can snap to this, which is to these, which is, is pretty strange, really. But I'm not going to complain. Then we're going to go out a bit and at 90 degree angles, move all the way over here so we can snap once more. And that's perfect. So now we've essentially got our little platform here and we can relatively easily get that connected up to the sidewalk here. So I'm going to find the sensor, but that should be pretty much between these two uh, catenaries here. Then we'll see if I can just add, I can add a, in a little node here and here and that works. And then I'm just going to go north or whatever direction this is. I don't actually know. Just I just want to get to the road here. And then I'm going to add in another node here and I think add in one more here and then we're going to get a big open space here for some trees and stuff as well. 90 and 90. That's pretty good. We're going to ground, get some manicured grass. Yoink. And next up, the cool part, of course, is opening up our object menu and searching for invisible path, finding the invisible pedestrian path, and then making sure we've got connections up to our stop which is right here and you can see that it's actually connecting just as it's supposed to so i'll just create two of these actually let's make sure that we are fully connected i'll just disable snapping there you go and we'll create f here as well we'll move down here as well and create paths here i don't expect this to actually be used they're probably just going to use the central most path and then get onto the train tracks. And what? what? Whoa! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I'm assuming that due to me not having placed these tracks before now, then the our citizens are going to find creative ways of actually going to the train station but hopefully uh, they're gonna clear out and instead use the official paths now and i think i'm going to try and do a little cool alignment of these nodes here so i'm just gonna enable snapping and then we'll just move this up just so that we've got a bit more of a symmetrical look here something like this and we've got people actually entering uh through the uh designated paths now so hopefully this is just a temporary thing um but someone definitely died anyways i'm gonna try and create a bit of parking spacing and have some form of commercial building some sort of plubbable building i'm thinking a commercial uh maybe a high density one is going to look the best as like the station building something like this would probably work to be honest uh, it can't be too big. Uh, it, actually, it can't be more than... It can't be deeper than 2, right? So we're gonna say X2. And see what we can actually find. That's definitely too much. But I'm gonna try and find a nice one that isn't too tall. And we can, of course, stitch multiple of these together. Uh, if we want, this could be... Uh, this one, actually, it's, this looks kind of like a Japanese building, to be honest. So that, that could work as well. Uh, but maybe this one, the original one I picked, is just uh, the best bet. So I'm just going to pause because the train is coming in and it's going to be pretty cool to see it work, right? Uh, but yeah, I'm going to... Let's see if we can stitch these two together. Can I create a bit of, of an angle here? No, I probably can't. How does the 2x2 two two look? Oh, it looks a little different. So maybe I should stick those two together. Like this to create uh, my own unique look. Yoink! That's perfect. That's our train station building where you can get a drink. And then let's actually see some people bought this train. Oh, it passed straight through. 
Oh, it's returning to the to the rail yard. All right. Why is that? S do the trains do that? Between each trip, I don't hope so. That would be pretty annoying. Now we've got we've still got a train assigned here that's coming in here, and now people are boarding. Twenty-seven heading for Chowder Bay. Next up, we're doing some parking. We've got a bit of an awkward shape here, which uh, the default parking of the game is obviously not really going to fit into. So we are going to go grab our own instead, using the two-way perpendicular to create some parking for our needs. I'm going to disable snapping and try to align this the best possible way I can. And let's see. Just gonna go real close here and then grab the other two way path so that we can get a connection to the road. We'll just go for a single one. Actually, I need to make sure that those two are connected, which I'm not sure they are at this point because I don't have snapping on. That's more like it. So that's the connection we're looking for. Then we'll jump in, grab some simple pavement surface. And we've got cars already entering, which is perfect because that's going to make it a little easier for us to just align the surface the way we want to. Disabling snapping once more. And then we might as well just adjust the corner here so that it we've got no clipping. And then I'm also thinking that we'll expand, we'll uh, extend. Yeah, we'll be extending this surface here so that it actually wraps around the parking surface. This is a fairly easy thing to do. And it's hopefully going to provide the parking lot with a really integrated look. There you go. And we're going to... Let's see. Let's see. We're going to add in a bit extra here. And we might as well just integrate it fully. There you go. So we've got our own parking now. Maybe we need... Maybe we need an arrow or two. Is there an arrow we can steal with the Pega mod? I am looking. We've got one here. I'm going to grab that. You know, in case people have their doubts on right-hand drive here in the US. They probably don't. But, you know, a bit of extra detailing. I ain't never heard nobody. Unless I do like that. And then obviously it's not really going to work. There you go. I'm just going to do a bit of rezoning before we continue detailing the train station. It's uh, obviously not uh, not done yet. So uh, a bit of zoning, I think, is in order to just get some of the uh, low density stuff in again. There you go. Please fill the entire lot. Yeah, it's going to be like that. Okay. There you go. And we've got a bit of space over here as well. So detailing wise, I want to try and streamline some aspects of this station with the existing train station in the game, as we might use that in other parts of East Haven County as well. So if we move into the Chowder Bay train station here, I can use the Pigger mod to check what kind of props they use and pretty much just copy them. So there's a specific bench here that I'm going to grab, move back and add to my own station. And I can actually use the line tool for this bench, at least not when I've grabbed it like this. So I am just going to 
have to sort of eyeball it so if you've got any sort of OCD uh, then I'm very sorry but this is how it's gonna be for now plenty of benches uh, I think that's fine let's move back to the train station see what else we've got we've got these uh, kind of signs here advertising some ice cream it seems so we'll grab that as well make sure we've got some uh, ice cream advertisements on our own station we'll add one here and i guess we'll add one over here as well don't have to overdo it it does add quite a bit of detail with just a few props we are moving back to see what we can poach mm -hmm. we've got these barriers here to kind of block off the parking and make sure that cars can't actually enter um Oh, wait, that's the rail yard. <laughs> I'm getting blind with all these tracks. Oh, well. Sure, we might add some of these as well. And I'm just going to add them randomly. And I really don't know what purpose they have when I add them like this. But, um, you know, it's detailing. It doesn't have to make sense, right? Nervous laughter. Cool. Maybe I overdid those, but uh, yeah, we can always fix that up. Let's see, there's a bit of a small hot dog stand here. We'll go ahead and grab that as well. I'm getting dizzy, moving back and forth. <laughs> but the hot dogs for the people. Where do we add this? Maybe just right here. I feel there's a little more going on over here with the actual station building, or at least what's supposed to be the station building, so gonna detail the other side a bit more and then we've got these lights here want to grab those as well make sure it's all streamlined and we might as well just add these in between the benches and then of course in some other spots as well and i'm gonna try to keep the detailing not too heavy because the game will refresh props once in a while so that they're actually just disappear and then they're refreshed at least i encounter that pretty frequently so i'm gonna try and keep it to a minimum here we've got a sort of a new stand here as well we'll grab that and then i'll grab these tables as well i think i'll just kind of add that there Let's move in and see what else we've got. Of course, this station is much more complete. We've got platforms and all kinds of good stuff, but can't really do much about that. But there are some industrial props here that might be cool to add. Just a few like uh, boxes and some fences and whatnot. Let's just grab this box here and then we'll add that in between the tracks i'll add one here i'll just add them at random to be honest add one down here as well and then i'm gonna move in and get a texture placed here i'm wondering what type of texture that's actually used here so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and use the cracked asphalt texture because i can't really find what's actually being used for the train tracks uh, maybe i just maybe it's not even possible to select it there you go and that's pretty nice i'm gonna go to an industrial site and see if i can poach a few uh, a few additional props just something interesting the container it's a probably a bit much and i wasn't really able to find something so i started searching randomly in the developer mode and i found this on the rooftop axis which is pretty cool so i think i'll be adding that it's a bit random admittedly but pretty cool as well so we'll just add that here and maybe add one of these other ones down here 
small things, but it really helps detail up this station. And I think I'll just be maybe expanding the green area here and add like a gazebo or something to it. Make it a little more cozy looking. That's not aligned at all with the train tracks. So we're going to do a little manual adjustment. That's probably a little better. Let's see if we can find a gazebo in some frequently used props. We've got three different ones. That one's pretty fancy. Like this one. It's a little more cozy. Not sure why you'd have a gazebo at a train station, but you know, I uh, want to wrap up the want to wrap up the detailing session right about now. Let's add in uh, a few trees as well. A few of these linden trees, maybe. There you go, and we could of course have a few birch trees sort of line the station as well i'm gonna go for a small version Now I was looking for some some sort of roof or shelter uh, assets or props so that you wouldn't have to stand in the rain. And I know they exist, but I just I've got no idea what they're called. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna have to be for another time, I guess. Uh, and I think this is pretty much the wrap for our train station detailing. Don't want to go too heavy on it. I'll probably do more custom stations in the future, so I have to not set the baseline too high. So all that's left to do now is a final bit of detailing of some of these areas that we've kind of carved our way through, especially over here where it's still kind of rough looking. It's not going to be too heavy, just uh, a few trees from some different sets and a few bushes and that's about it. What's even going on? And we kept the detailing to a minimum because it's time to wrap up this episode and not go too heavy. So uh, it's a real pleasure seeing all this new infrastructure being used. I'm particularly happy with how this custom bridge turned out, even though it's uh, constantly having road maintenance vehicles on it, so it might be of bad engineering quality. Uh, anyways, it's uh, of course also very fun to see the uh, train station in full effect here and I'm of course looking for some input for what we're actually gonna name this train line. Uh, train line 2 is obviously not gonna cut it so hoping you guys have some suggestions there. Uh, for now it's a strictly like uh, city to city intercity line. It goes from West Point and all the way over to Chowder Bay and back and that's pretty much it. But if you've got suggestions for other routes it should follow then I'm open to that as well. And of course, finally, if you've got suggestions for what we should build next here in East Haven County, then I'd be very interested in hearing that as well. 
with all that said, I am going to shoot some hopefully juicy cinematics for you guys now. And I want to thank you all for watching and say that I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.